Have you ever just gotten that feeling with your face when your skin's not doing too good, when you wish you could just peel it off and start again? Um, well, you can. And in this video, we're gonna talk about chemical peels. And I'm gonna talk specifically about the utility of it for my patients. I see a lot of transgender and non-binary individuals. And sometimes with uh, transitioning and starting hormones comes unique issues um, when it comes to your skin uh, that really there's not too much out there about. And I've found that chemical peels can be a really useful tool in order to help address some of these things. So basically a chemical peel is just what it sounds like. We're applying an acid to the face. You can do an intermediate one, you can, or you can do a superficial one, I should say, first of all, a shallow one. You can do that at home. You can do an intermediate one, which is one of my favorites. Usually I do an interme intermediate one, like TCA is my favorite chemical to use there. And then you can do the deeper ones. Oftentimes you have to do them on a monitor and the downtime for the deeper ones are pretty it's pretty hardcore there's redness for a long time and so usually that's only reserved for certain conditions so in for the um sake of this video we're going to focus on the intermediate peels and a lot of my patients now will combine them in when they're doing a surgery because the most annoying thing about an intermediate peel is the downtime not that you're recovering or you're in any sort of pain but really as your skin is peeling off you look a little bit scary for about five days after surgery Typically, if you're doing it awake, it feels hot, it stings a little bit, a little bit of discomfort, but really nothing serious. And at the end of this video, I'm going to add in a video of uh, me doing it on my guinea pig. My sister, uh, she uses it for melasma, and that's just one of the many things you can use it for. So think of it as resurfacing your face. And so um, one group of patients is super useful for it in my practice is trans mask or non-binary folks who are taking testosterone testosterone because a lot of patients will run into problems with oily skin and acne as they transition, especially in the first few months uh, of taking testosterone. And chemical peels can really help with that and reset the face and ultimately help uh, with acne. They can also help with acne scars. And then for trans feminine folks, a chemical peel is really good at revealing that baby skin underneath. So getting rid of that rough skin, that dull complexion. It's good for age spots, unwanted freckles, melasma or pigmentation problems, like I mentioned. And it's also very good for fine lines as well and some signs of aging, just to name a few. So typically what it looks like, like I said, the downtime, you're applying creams um, to your face as uh, it heals in. And when the peeling starts, it usually starts at the center in the first day probably about two days and then extends out to the sides. And during that time when it's flaking, it can look uh, a little bit scary. So um, like I mentioned, a lot of my patients will combine it with surgery because they can recover from it during the downtime when they're recovering from surgery where they're, they're not having to work, obviously. Um, and so I'm going to include the video next and uh, some before and afters uh, to follow that. And that's chemical peels. So as you can see here, we're applying the TCA peel. And if you watch it closely, you're going to see how it gradually turns white. And that's how we know the chemical's working and it's done its job. And then we're going to let it work to a certain depth, an intermediate depth. And then we're going to go ahead and clean it off with soap and water.